Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another fantastic podcast. I'm your host, Justin Damon and Pops. They don't know what they're going to talk about, but it's going to be good. Yeah. Woo. People sent in questions from Patreon. Yay. Yeah, Patreon. It's a Q&A. Fam. What's good? Hello? This thing on? Anybody there? Anybody out there? Hello? You guys sent in questions. Yes. We are going to answer them from the great cyberspace in the sky or wherever the internet is. The cloud in the sky. No one really knows where the internet is. They just know it comes in through a cable. Tubes. Through the street. It, the wire goes to my house. Local cable internet provider. Spectrum, Time Warner. What's the first question? We got All questions right, let's here. jump right on So where do we get these questions? I guess we should start that off. So it was a post on Patreon. We asked the fans to ask some questions. And guess <laughs> what? They did. The guys came through, <laughs> as always, to be expected. Nothing but the best. Mm-hmm. Nothing but the, the goods. You guys always deliver when it comes to the, the questions. Yep, yep. You guys could give us the, the deep stuff. You guys want the hard hitting? Oof! Hurts to read it. It's hard to deflect these questions. They're so hard balls. <laughs> let's get. These are some very serious, hard hitting questions. So let's jump right on in with the most serious one. And he's it's from Fernando Diaz. He says, "Can you guys do a Caswell remix with Pops as Caswell himself?" Look at my torpedo exploding! My torpedo. Whoa! Trump remix. I want to take it like for it. rice and beans. We know a guy. In our friend group, who looks like Caswell. Ooh, we could dub him. We get Franco. Oh, yeah, we get we Franco. Do. If we get Franco involved, we're not even making this up. There's a guy who looks just like Caswell. Oh, he looks just friends. like. He looks just like him. Kind of acts like him a little. We bit have too. Louis twerking in his little speedos. Kind <laughs> of acts like him. Damn, sort of a diva. Um, yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to collab with Caswell. Maybe we fuck it. Let's reach out to Caswell. I think Fernando just wants a video of Pops twerking. Can we just I think get that's all what this if question we, is? What if we reached out to Caswell on Twitter? We reach out to him, be like Caswell, big fan by the way. We got a bunch Huge of retweets. Fan. We got everyone to retweet and yep. like the tweet. Mm-hmm. We'd be like, oh damn, these guys are like a big deal. Or a group of handsome gentlemen who appreciate your hard work. Big and- fans. <laughs> We're a group of handsome men who what do, also what appreciate do we have to other do? handsome guys. Huge fan. Huge fan. I'm going to fly you out to Miami, and I'm going to make you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drive you crazy. And we're going to have some fun. Dude, that'd be dope. Fuck yeah, dude. That'd be I'm hilarious. Down. I'm down to Fuck collab you. with Caswell. Why not? So down. <laughs> Reach our true demographic. Yep. All right, the next question Thank you, comes... Fernando. Yeah, thanks, Fernando. The next question comes from my boy, Dinner Man. He says, Ooh, of up, all Dinner? the dubs you've released so far, uh, which, are, uh, which are each of your proudest of and which do you think is the funniest good question very good sorry i fucked that up tough a bit. question though <laughs> tough question because there's so many good ones but um, the one that i think is the funniest is uh the mattress bitch mm-hmm. the mattress mm-hmm. eating why do we call it the mattress is it called the mattress bitch it's not I, called that it's like, i want to be a mattress. i want to I want be a mattress, mattress. Yeah. we call it the song strange, that we made strange addiction strange dub. addiction dub i want to be a mattress that, for, but it's just easier to call it the mattress bitch let's just be real i think that one's the funniest the one i'm proudest of is probably sticky buddy just because i didn't expect it to do that <laughs> yeah just the like success of that one because once you really once i release it it's like it doesn't belong to us mm-hmm. it's like it's, it's our own little child off to college Yep, yep. And then it's like, whoa, it did really well. It's crazy to think about that. Still is. Still blows my mind. I didn't expect it to be bigger than Mighty Putty. I thought Mighty Putty was going to be the, the champion dub for a long, long time. Mm-hmm. I love the mattress one. That I think so good. I think that one's my favorite, too. I'm featured in that one. Hey. Yeah, you got your own <laughs> voice in it. So it's got a little special place in my heart. Most, is that your guys' most favorites? Most funny. Both, both uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Most proudest is probably my, I like Sticky the, Buddy. I like the first My Pillow too. That might be my second top. You know what? And then the Kathy Mitchells. The newest My Pillow. I'm really proud of that one. That one's so well written. Oh, you guys killed it with that one. It's a long one, which I think it's it's tough sell. I think yeah. shorter is a little bit better, as I've learned. Because that's like three dubs in one. Mm-hmm. That's what it felt like. But um, I think the Guy Fieri series is pretty fucking hilarious. It created a. It expanded on the meme, mm-hmm. and it was pretty fucking good. Um, I I think uh, Scared Straits needs a it it needs 
It's definitely funny. So well written. It's such a good story to it. Yeah, I wouldn't mind doing another Scared Straight. Like another really funny episode we could mm -hmm. find or something like that. Mm -hmm. And there's just like the stupid ones like Ace, <laughs> Ace Power and shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> They're just fucking weird. <laughs> We're like scrolling through all of them yeah, right I'm now. Look, I'm looking at them right now. I love the my pillow. Um, Kathy Mitchell's so good, mm -hmm. and the the omelet guy. Oh yeah, the omelet express is good. Ah, it's hard, it's hard to pick, but yeah, I love the mattress bitch just because it's so the the show itself is so easy to dub the way it's edited, and mm -hmm. it was cool how we put a twist on it, made it something new. Yeah, yep. thanks, dinner man. Dinner man, thank you, dude. Uh, who's next? My boy Victor Rodriguez. He My says, dude. any new merch in the works for 2018? Need me some new Djibouti swag. Link in bio, link in bio. <laughs> you ready for that merch? We got some new shit coming. Victor, let me tell you, my friend, I've got two shirts in the mix right now. And I was just showing the fellas. Yeah, you showed me the PNG the, file. The, the proof of the, the sample of the image before I go and start really sprucing it up and painting it and making it look nice. Mm -hmm. And you guys are going to want You guys are going to be stoked. You oh, guys are going to want gonna it. I want it. It looks so good. <laughs> I cannot wait to get that on a shirt. Yep. It is so cool. Uh, I will say it is a Darnell Jackson shirt. Yep. The other one will be a Cheng Wei shirt. I'm hoping to get at least one of those out maybe by towards the end of this month if not in the middle of this month um it's pretty soon probably a mate hopefully before the three-year subversary st patrick's day show yeah they're saying they want to do like a Djibouti show sub badge shirt which i yeah, just like, pulled up an idea and i'm like stoked on that too i think that'd be really cool three-year uh sub badge shirt yeah stone pot waffles in the chat says penguin shirt i was just telling them that yeah, i, like, I want to yeah. i want to do that too i <laughs> gotta gang. do that the Cheng Wei shirt is going to be super cool. <laughs> it's going to be like a movie looking kind of thing. And then um, Darnell's is going to look. It's so cool. I cannot wait. I don't <laughs> want to spoil it almost. I just want to wait because you guys are going to be like, what the fuck? No way. <laughs> it's such a good parody shirt. Um, but yeah, Penguin shirt would be fucking cool. Um, the Djibouti badge. Oh, we just pulled up a really cool idea. There's so many good ideas for merch. I really want to just spend like a whole day and just crank out a bunch of designs yeah and oh yeah make and the, the store um, look cool the classic logo and the right where the pocket would be yeah we're gonna do, like for... pocket t with the Djibouti dub we're sprucing up the merch gang gang game game game, game, game. <laughs> we're gonna be doing uh the we we're supposed to shoot the commercial today but we're gonna do it next week because we want to get a few more things make it a little special for the hat the mm -hmm. snapback and the dad hat uh we're gonna be getting those up Hopefully the hats, the hat is already up, but we're going to re-up it and do a commercial, make it legit. Uh, those of you who already bought one, we're going to throw your photos of you wearing them over the commercial. It's going to be cool. Oh, yeah. hell yeah. Um, hopefully get we, fans get that, involved. we get that going like two weeks. The hats will be like flying, you know, they'll be gone. I have a personal wish, going. a personal wish list for the merch, a mug. I want a mug. Mm -hmm. I love coffee and I <laughs> want a mug. This will be uh you were the merch. You're the merch. Djibouti uh, merch and stepping our game up. So it's very tasteful stuff. I've learned a lot over the yeah. years doing merch. Yeah. I know what people like. I feel a little bit more I'm in tune. Simple's always better. And it's it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. That I could tell you, it's gonna be good. The great thing about <laughs> merch bio. great thing about merch is it helps the show, A. And then it also gives you something cool to kind of show off to your friends. It's pretty yeah. awesome. And it keeps you guys looking fresh. I'll tell you one thing I really would love to do, and I don't know if it'll happen this year, but I would love, I was just thinking about it the other day, I would love to do like a like a 3D little figurines of us, like in a cartoon style. Ooh. Oh, man, yeah, that would be pretty dope. Like, I don't know exactly how I could, I probably couldn't mass produce them, but there are companies that have like 3D printers, and I have friends that can do 3D stuff, and I could like draw us out. In like mm -hmm. a caricature style, like little miniature, like no, not chibi, but little little versions no, of us. You. Yeah, I know what you mean. And then like that'd be so cool. We get them three D printed and sell <laughs> only a few, and it would just be Limited us doing release. the shipping and the three D printing. I don't know how the coloring works, but I would fucking love to do that. If that we could do sick. that, and we could do like a DD plushie too. Ooh, yeah. limited release DD <laughs> pop around here. So cool. Like I love the way that. Um, I think it was the gorillas. They had like little figurines, like oh, that yeah. kind of style. Those would be cool, like stylized. See what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. these. Oh, these are cool. Oh, Can you paste that really image dope. in chat. Paste it in the live chat. Yeah. Um. But yeah, stuff like this. I would love to get into the merch a little bit more. 
um, and figure out some cool stuff that's not just t-shirts. 2018, guys. You're the merch. We're working on it. So <laughs> great, great question, Victor. Thank you, Victor. Thanks, Victor. Appreciate it, man. Um, the next one is from my boy Hector. He says, has Justin ever dubbed people IRL in real life? Uh, example, eating at a restaurant, uh, then you oversee a couple sort of arguing, and then Lowell says, Djibouti, what do you think they're saying? Sorry for the very specific scenario, but I'm sure it's happened. <laughs> I love the very specific. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because um, I'm sure that's actually happened. Yeah, a bunch of times. Oh, yeah, we've done that. We've done that a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm, you know what? I'm surprised by how often us as a group do voices, right? Yeah. We're always doing a goof or a, a fucking voiceover of something. It like comes so naturally now. It's just like something that I've like naturally developed just by yeah. hanging out with Justin so much. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> and then we'll be in Starbucks and we'll see some homeless guy walking down the street and we'll just be like, beans, beans, beans. Yeah. Some shit I like that. Um, Justin's been doing it for a really long time. I think the hardest I've ever laughed is when we were really young. We we're like sitting in a car and we we're like watching some guy eat a, a, a smoothie or something, a Slurpee mm -hmm. at like uh, Wendy's. Mm -hmm. And you were like doing the slurping noises <sighs> and it was hilarious. It's like the hardest I've ever laughed. No, we do it all the time. Every yeah. time we go get food before we go live or something, we'll just see crazy people on the street mm -hmm. and just riff off of what they could be possibly doing. Uh, saying. Yeah. Happens all the time. We all wanted time. to. Uh, try to do that on the snapchat for a while i saw patreon like has a new little snapchat yeah feature, i don't know so maybe we could bring that back at some point the that was a big thing a lot of people on their patreons would always push they'd be like you get access to our snapchat and now snapchat didn't update and it's like Ugh. yeah but <laughs> patreon with snapchat patreon just introduced this thing called lens i think and it's like um it's like a instagram story snapchat story on. on your patreon cool for your patrons so okay i mean we'll get into that something a little bit easier to hop into um yeah love dubbing people on the street it's always fucking fun thanks mm -hmm. for the thanks for the question hector great question uh next one comes from the real fake doors uh what is the day-to-day -day schedule at the Djibouti dubs headquarters do you girt down some oatmeal while editing videos <laughs> <laughs> um, Great question, real fake doors. So Kawika uh, really did go hard on the uh, donate button uh, past couple weeks, and he, he Kawika Kawika Majoris. He did request that we do a vlog of the day to day. We are working on that. We're making it more special, putting some real love into it. We don't yeah. want to just make it a lazy vlog. We want to make it something cool. Um, so you will see. Uh, but I guess we could tell you. I mean, the day to day schedule. Mm. See, I like to work late because I don't know. I like when it's quiet, phones not really popping off, everyone's mm -hmm. asleep. So I usually stay up to like three or four. So like we'll stream, then after that I'll go record or I'll work on whatever needs to be worked on until three or four. And then I'll wake up at like ten or eleven, and I'll work on stuff. It's like it's trying to get as much done before we're live. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah, a lot of pre-production. And stuff. it's like, dude, you'll be doing just like answering an email you talk to someone on the phone next thing you know it's seven o'clock taxes <laughs> and it's like fuck i haven't eaten all day yeah. and everyone's like you guys are late you're late i'm like fuck i'm trying to try to record these dubs or whatever but you yeah. know it's tough it's a it's trying to it's still trying to figure out a good balance of like time to get mundane shit done and other creative shit done and also stream yep. it's, really, it's really tricky figuring out that balance right now it's feeling pretty good it's just getting dialed in also figured out, you know, if you do too much, you do get burnt out. Yeah. yeah, you don't want that. I used to do that a lot, especially when it was just dubs. Like, be working on them like 12, 13 hours a day. Then I'd release it and I'd just be like, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> I don't understand. This is weird. Yeah, don't want to overwork yourself, <laughs> but we try think, to find that balance. Do you think the stream helps break up that kind of structure a little bit? Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. The stream definitely helps. Um, just like the fan interaction and the appreciation lets you know like all that hard work that like you people were are doing watching. all day has been worth it you know what i mean yeah it's fucking cool to be in live i love it yeah. um it's definitely a cool feeling when you go live it's like everything's on there's people you recognize in the chat they're gassing you up <laughs> <laughs> yeah and that's it's it's that it, it, it can turn a shitty day very positive yeah very, real, very really quick. quickly key the girt angles is the key is balance that's true balance it's easy to say though, Balance. but when you're fucking stressed out and your fucking <laughs> yeah. personal life's not where you want it to be, and shit uh, happens, you yep. got a bad email just before you, you know, uh, that's 
it's it's dealing with that stuff. Way easier said than done. Focusing on uh, the other stuff does help, though. Like forcing myself to kind of leave this place on a Friday. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, getting out and being social. Go and hang out with my friend group and that talk to them is... and be like, "Oh shit, I haven't seen you guys in two weeks. What's everyone up to? Oh shit, it's been a week. What's... It's cool. It's always been a week, and everyone always has something to talk about." Mm -hmm. um, that stuff is very important because doing what we do, you know, we're locked in a room all day. Mm -hmm. So I that's another feel... part that we need to work in that balance. I feel bad for the person who's doing it all by themselves. Oh man, the oh, yeah, the amount of isolation that. that you would probably put yourself through would probably be pretty intense. Mm -hmm. That'll take a toll on you. And there's always a lot of self doubt. And then as a creator, you're like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I'm really thankful for my friend group with like Jeff and everything, everyone we've incorporated in our little group. Every Friday we just get together. It's like there's like a group of like eight or nine of us. We just get together and have dinner somewhere and just all talk about shit. Yeah, just it's really up, cool to be shit. able to do that at night. Looking back, I didn't. I used to not do that. I used to just lock myself up, work, and then draw, and it was just like I don't know, you just go insane eventually. So that definitely helped. Also, doing something active, a little physical activity. I'm telling you, folks, you're not mm, doing yeah. anything. Do something. If you Even work, if it's just like jogging. If you could work a little walk or a jog, with, you know, one day on, one day off, one day on, one day off. It shit helps, man. I definitely feel a lot more positive. If I am have a structured workout routine. Oh my God, dude. It helps so much. I like, sleep so much better. <laughs> like, the, th the thing, the thing with the working out, like, it really does give you a boost in your mental, like, yeah. your mental capacity. Like, yeah. totally, yep, yep. dude. Like, don't, I wouldn't even say, don't do it to be fucking ripped. No. Do it to get that, like, high, that, like, runner's high. Oh, yeah, the runner's thing. high. Like, running in the morning to start off the day. I used like to love morning. running until I fucked up my back. Now I'm just doing, like, safe workouts at the gym. Yeah. But, yeah, like, that Tuesday I'll work out in the morning. I'll wake up, work out, and then I'll work on shit until we go live. And that's how I get that, whoa! Yeah! Um, Come on! You know? Yep. It's hard to do that when you just wake up and you're like, I just got done editing for eight hours. Time to go live. I just ate a bunch of pizza. That's really tough. <laughs> that's, that's hard. That's, that's low energy stuff. Okay, mm -hmm. Dad. Yeah, you'll do what you're told, boy. You'll start doing, get social. You're my son. Exercise. Listen social. to your father figures. You need to socialize. This is your father speaking. I need am socializing. I'm on VR chat. Get your <laughs> exercise, too. It's different. You're <laughs> humans. We're social creatures. <laughs> Holy hot dog. <laughs> um, thank you for the question. That was Real a good fake one. Doors. Real stuff, um, man. The next one comes from Doku Destiny. What's the worst movie y'all have seen? It's definitely one of the movie does. What was that one? The left, right, run straight. Jim Cotta. Jim Cotta. Jim Cotta was, was awful. A, yeah. a pretty awful that was movie. Awful. Easy question. That one was so bad, dude. Like I know we always like joke around and say like we're drained after we've seen a bad movie, but like literally after that movie, like I just felt like, oh, I can't believe I sat through that whole thing. That yeah. Was, that one was rough, dude. I'm actually curious for the live chat. Did whoever saw Jim Cotta Anyone? the dub? Yeah. Yeah. Did you like the dub? Because we didn't like the movie. Did the dub make it bearable at all? Yeah. Or was it still just I feel, shit? I feel like our commentary at least makes it feel like someone's holding your hand through yeah. this horrible yeah. journey. <laughs> it brings the best out of the worst. Oh my god, it was rough though. Like I do remember feeling physically, just like. I need to lay down. Like my stomach hurt. <laughs> it just felt. I feel like I was awful. punched in the stomach. It was really bad. Um, that's the worst movie I think I've ever seen. Don't I, I think we all agree. Jim Cotta was yeah. bad. You guys it was all recommended so it. We had a bunch of people recommend it. It was awful. Oh, <laughs> it was so bad. Thanks, Doko. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate you. Just the patron who recommended <laughs> that movie. <laughs> And then the next question comes from Geraldine. Um, she says, anything on your bucket list you've crossed off recently or uh, or anything you're pretty damn close to crossing off? Ooh, bucket list. Mm. Bucket list. I want to do more traveling as a general broad term, but where? That's a bigger question. I don't know. Bucket list. Yeah, my bucket list is pretty boring. It's pretty much just like Pops. Just a, just a list of just his traveling. One bullet point, traveling. That's all it is. Mm. All I got. That's I don't a know tricky. You guys. That's a tricky one. Bucket list, eh? Something you have to do before mm. you die. You're just itching to get over, get you know, get get into that a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. 
That was really tough. I guess, yeah, travel, but I'm trying to think of something else because that's what everyone says, right? Yeah. That's um, the basic answer. Uh, pay off my student loans as soon as possible. Travel. <laughs> get, that. get out of debt. I don't want to die with debt. That's what, <laughs> that's what I would say. <laughs> yeah, that one's tricky. I don't know. Is it a Gogurt factory? Add that to the list. Gogurt factory. <laughs> that would, if, if anything, having the fantasy factory of Djibouti... That oh, would that's be, a good one. It might be a fantasy bucket list and maybe a, a attainable one if, you know, who knows how this all turns out. But that would be pretty cool to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be that. I guess that's mine is seeing where this goes and trying to get it into a space, which we are pushing for this year. But you know what, guys, by the time I'm dead, I'm going to have my own brand of condoms. There you go. The Dong Man's Magnum Dong. Dong condoms. Man condom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With your face on the tip. <laughs> With my <laughs> face on them. <laughs> Spam the Dong Man <laughs> faces in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> if you think about it, I'm fucking all them girls, but you got. It. <laughs> I think your, that's a very your, obtainable your goal. Your face yeah. superimposed on the tip of them. Yeah, yeah I'm right there. Just smiling you out. at you. <laughs> kissy face. <laughs> yeah, add that kissy to the face list. emoji add on that, there. Add that to the list. <laughs> Thank you for the question. Thank you, Gerber. Uh, Trenton Taylor. What did y'all think of the Sea of Thieves game? It's pretty good for co-op. Very promising game. Very cool. I'd like to see what they do long-term with it. Um, whether the quests get a little bit more flushed out. But the gameplay-wise looks really cool. And if you have a f group of friends, that seems like a fucking blast. Totally. Oh, just Potential. Potential through the roof. Mm -hmm. Will it deliver? How long do they have to finish it? I, I don't know. Because, I mean, how much time do they have? Because off you, of what I played, I'm like, if they just add this, 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 and this, this would be amazing. But, like, my list, like, you should be able to, like, kind of clan up with a group, make mm -hmm. it like a squad, mm -hmm. and, like, your boat, you should be able to trick out, yeah, oh, yeah. decorate it, like, how cool would it be to see someone going across like this awesome fucking boat? Mm -hmm. um, it would be kind of cool. Character if they, customization. Oh. Almost a battle royale version of it where your squads get placed randomly in the map and you're trying to get to the main booty. The quest. The quest. quest. Yes. The quest. So All that was in the beta was go get treasure, bring it back. Go get treasure, bring it back yeah. kind of thing. But that was the beta. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, there's a lot of potential. If they could... Oh man, uh, my thing is like I have to do VR chat. I'm like, they need to make the VoIP amazing, yeah, and make the mouths move with the VoIP. Oh, that probably won't happen. That needs to happen. That probably won't happen. God, it's that so good for role so play. So dope though. Because when some like when we're playing VR chat and Classy was the penguin, was like, ah! his, <laughs> his beak is all the way open. It looks so real and so animated and just God. If they could just do that, I just. Oh, the game would be so good. It would take over all role play, all role play streams, everything. Everyone would switch over to Sea of Thieves. But will they deliver? I don't know. Who knows? It's all the quests. I don't know. Like the skeletons were kind of cool, but I mean, is that all there is? Just one skeleton? Or are there going to be like big skeletal bosses and caves that have cool gear you can get? I think the PvP aspect's pretty cool. Like the PvP, but also like the like the quest of PvE. Like, what if the quest was like going in this cave? There's a huge treasure yeah. full of loot, and there's like a boss, mm -hmm. and it's yeah. like a boss fight. Oh. And you have to work. Maybe there's like the cannons crack, the you have to bring in. Shit, mm -hmm. if you like fight sea monsters and stuff oh. like that, that would be pretty dope. They could just add so much to that and make it game of the year mm -hmm. easy. Easy, I could see that game but, of the year this year. Mm -hmm. But I don't know because I got a big list of things I would want to see in there, and I doubt it i think they're just gonna take what they got and kind of pretty it up i think you saw the core gameplay i hope not that's not i good. really hope they add some more stuff to it i don't know the quest it needs it needs more it needs more love I and see the release date see uh, the, that see of the if there's a solo main story i would not buy it for that reason Mar it is march a 20 it's a co-op game oh that's coming right around the that corner that shit ain't happening mm. that shit ain't happening I think you saw the core game for what it was. They got Damn. a they got a month. <laughs> it is what it is. I think they, they got a I month. They made. might be done. They got a month. So what? They're gonna fucking start printing the CDs. That's <laughs> like, probably like, pretty gold. Like, now. like like, a, like how soon do they just start printing the discs and start gluing on the fucking top and the physical copies? Like I feel like that happens now. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're done. 
I wish there was cool stuff in there. What I saw was all right, but I'm just it saying. It was fun. It was Oof. fun. It could be something great. Hopefully. It could be great. It could, could be, be great. Wonderful. It could be great. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they just Make showed very City's little. great again. <laughs> we don't know. I, it's hard to say when a game's in beta, you know? You don't want to put your foot down and be like, it's good or it sucked. I think it's mm -hmm. all I see is potential. Taylor. Taylor with the next question. Will you start doing more uh, director commentary soon? Oh, yeah. Yes. We're going to do yes. some after this. And we need to do one for the uh, Mark Pillow. Yeah, I, I actually like up. the commentaries of our past dubs because it's it's a way to revisit it. And then there's almost like there's always like a story because there's like Justin was at this phase in his life when this was <laughs> happening. He was sick when he was recording or whatever. There's these weird little details that yeah. I learned personally. It's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So and check then, that out on Patreon. And then They're Taylor, coming. Taylor's got a couple he other questions. Three yeah. repeat. Uh, he says, "Is there anything you guys are not satisfied with in production and want to improve on?" Uh, my thing is just the space. Like we're in a, what is this? Like a six foot room, six foot it's by six eight foot. Eight by eight. Yeah, we need more space for sure. Uh, with more space, we could film stuff and do stuff. And we're working on that this year, moving this whole operation into something that's more comfy, and mm -hmm. we could, we could shoot more skits in and do more with. But that's but about it. Satisfied with everything. I mean, like every now and then you fuck up a joke or it's, something, or you say something. Mm. It's part of the charm. But the you, production, you learn not to give a fuck anymore. With the so. production, I'm just saying the space and the fucking heat. I wish the... It's a little thing. I just, <laughs> it's just, it gets hot in here. That shit is fucking, Yeah. Ugh, I hate when it's hot, dude. Yeah, I, I run too fucking hot I here. run hot. We all I run hot. I sweat. We're big boys. All right? Mm, big men. We're mm. thick men. I sweat. Um. So, yeah. Just stuff like that. You know, airflow, uh, <laughs> square footage. Ah, uh, <laughs> just boring shit. Hardwood floors. And more time. I wish there was more time in the day. Yep. And then he also asks, would you hand over all the rights to Djibouti Dubs and the other channels to get your own TV show? Taylor, how much money you got, bro? <laughs> how much money are we talking? Mm -hmm. How much are you talking right now? All the rights and other channels to get your own TV show? So he's basically asking, are we sellouts? Would we ever sell out? I don't even know how much you get paid for TV nowadays. Yeah. Isn't that dying? Yeah. Don't they always talk about how TV's dead? Ugh. Doesn't seem like it'd be worth it anymore. Yeah, I don't know. And why would they like need a, my channel? Sounds like a bad trade for both parties, almost. What would our TV show be? Our stream? <laughs> <laughs> I remember one guy had a funny idea for a movie. He told, he like emailed me about it. He's like, what if you guys did a movie where it's like, like a Wayne's World type vibe and like Guy Fieri's after you guys? <laughs> I, was like, I could see like an okay. Adam Sandler, okay. like Adam Sand early Adam Sandler kind of Wayne's World style film mm -hmm. where Guy Fieri's actually after us. Oh, Get that him! Be, that would be a cool concept. That would be pretty dope. You know what I mean? I and he'd have to have right have like a how high kind of yeah. Yeah, was, that's what feel. I was thinking too. I love Writing stuff like movie, that. Like me and Justin, like just like how high. Yeah. And it wouldn't be Guy Fieri. It would be like Louie wearing Guy Fieri's wig, always <laughs> shot from the back, you know, like mysterious. It would but be like funny. all the gear and all the rings and necklaces and shit. It'd be funny if it actually was Guy Fieri in on the show and he was doing like... If he did a cameo. It would Holy be the big reveal fuck. at the it's end like, that it actually is him. You goddamn cocksuckers. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah, I'd be down for that. That would be so cool. Yeah, I'll sell my YouTube channel for that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the questions, Taylor. And Paper Thin, uh, with a very specific question, he says, when it comes to movies, do you prefer CGI or... Uh, animatronics, for example, The Thing, 1982 had a bunch of animatronics, blah, blah, blah. and the new movie was mostly CGI. So, uh, yeah. Uh, which one do we prefer? Uh, thing, animatronics, hmm. mostly CGI. I think CGI right now is getting better than it was. Like, when we were watching the Power Rangers movie, they did the CGI, and it looked <laughs> awful. It so did not beyond age awful. well. But now, it looks pretty convincing. But... If you compare the animatronics on the Tur Ninja Turtles movie versus the CGI, I'd take them animatronics any day. Yeah, mm -hmm. we were looking at the uh, animatronics the other day because the Ninja Turtles were in Injustice, too. And I was like, God damn. And then I was like, I maybe want to pull up a clip of the movie. And the movie looks fucking great still. Yeah, it holds up. Shredder, not so much. But <laughs> the Turtles, <laughs> everything except him. The Turtles look awesome still. Um, the mouth's a little weird, but I mean, yeah, dude. The, yeah. The way they look in uh, Injustice 2 is fucking awesome. God, I wish that was a movie. Yeah. Do CGI like that, I'd be fine. Mm -hmm. That would be fine. But I think the older stuff always holds up better. Like older movies like Predator. 
like all that yeah right that mm-hmm. kind of stuff always looks good it just depends That's right pick. it yeah. depends movie to movie because like well, there's movies that are all CGI, and that's like, fine. Yeah, like the but Star it's, Wars. I guess the same when you cross real life, live action. Yeah. Like, do you want live action plus a, a robot or live action plus a mm-hmm. CGI? That's what he's saying, right? Mm-hmm. The be- the best blend that I've seen recently was Avatar because it does have both, and you're like, I can't tell the difference most of the time. The Last Airbender. You know what movie I what remember watching? About? I thought it looked insanely awesome. Was that Tintin movie a while back? I a little I... Conan O'Brien movie? Damn, that was 2011? Holy that was a shit. long time. That was Peter Jackson, right? Yeah, that Tintin movie was dope. Um, I don't think I ever saw that one. Uh, Yeah, I don't know. It depends. Ninja Turtles animatronics better than that fucking CGI shit. That's for sure. It's slowly going to become more CGI because computers are just getting better. But you know what's fucking horrible? I didn't see it, but I watched a clip of that Superman mustache. <laughs> oh, what? Did you see that? Yeah. I'll pull up the clip right now. We'll watch it. So, Damien, you go ahead and tell him why this is a thing. About the Superman mustache yeah. bullshit? Okay, so is. in the newest, uh, in the Justice League, okay. uh, I guess the guy that played Superman, Henry Cavill, or whatever the fuck his name is, yeah. was filming another movie at the same time, and he had a mustache. And so instead of just shaving the mustache for the other movie and putting on a fake one, he kept the mustache and they CGI'd it out in the Justice League. And it looks fucking awful. Wow, I did not know that. That mustache cost a few million dollars to CGI they out. They spent like seven million or something like that. Why not just shave, shave your fucking mustache, just sh- you douche? Just put on a fake mustache for the other movie, man. It takes how many weeks to grow a mustache? It looks so bad. Oh, here's we're watching a clip. Yeah, it's it's really bad. This made me oh. hate CGI. It's really bad. Ew. So what? Wait, what movie was this? This was um, um, Justice Justice uh, Justice, 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 League. Yeah, Justice League. Okay, I didn't see it. I was so disappointed by Batman versus it's Superman, right. but he looks like he's gonna kiss. Him. It looks like he's gonna kiss Batman. So. Oh my God! Why would they do that? It dude? looks so bad. I Why can't... would they spend seven oh. million dollars to fucking Photoshop out a mustache? <laughs> Jeez! Oh. Go down Horrible. to Party City, get a fake one for ten bucks. There you go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fix the whole problem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Awful. Ugh. I refuse to cut off my mustache. Um, who's next? Mike Johnson. What movie do you feel is in dire need of a dub? Ooh. Oh, so many. That's a tricky question. Put the link in the chat. Um, link in bio. Link in bio. Movie that deserves to be dubbed. Uh, Maybe chat can answer that. That's a, that's a little mm, bit. There's so many tough. good ones. I mean, we got fucking boxes and boxes of movies we got to get through. Um, there's I would I don't even have one at the top. Like sometimes I like when we get surprised. Um, but yeah, you guys are always recommending the weird shit like Twins. Twins Junior. Junior. Weird yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. Weird. Just old weird shit. Birdemic is up there. Mm-hmm. Like Chud was awesome. Yeah. You know, I love when there's a surprise. So there's so many I don't know about. It's hard for me to be like, that's what needs to be dubbed. And a lot of times it's a fan says, check out this movie trailer. And you watch, you're like, oh my God, this needs to be dubbed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. That, that happens quite a bit. Like uh, the one we just did. Miami, Miami, Miami. Oh Connection. yeah, that was a really yeah. good one. Miami Connection. So you guys know more than we know what's yeah. in need of a dub. I love when we find those hidden gems, though. Off the top of my head, I can't think of any. I just like the Stallones. That's a lot I never saw. Yeah. The Stallone films, the Arnold Schwarzenegger, all those. Those need to be dubbed. Classic mm-hmm. 80s action. Is, 80s is, action. is key demo for us. Over the top 80s action. You know, yeah. jumping away from an explosion in slow motion. Gah! That's that good stuff. Yeah, you know, I watch it. it is a, I always love watching our um, highlights of the Mortal Kombat movies. Ooh, that was a good one. So good. Oh. Just twist to the hips. <laughs> and you're dead. So easy. <laughs> so easy. Just put my feet on your neck. Twist my hips. <laughs> you're dead. It's done. Uh, next question comes from Cock McBalls. Uh, he says, uh, which country in Europe would you like to visit and why? Mm. Country in Europe? Uh... Sweden. I want to meet Retro Johan. Yes, I want to go where I Retro agree. is. That's it. To meet Retro. Meet Johan and have some of that delicious milk chocolate. Anywhere over there would be cool. All yeah. that all that stuff over there is all old and cool. Yeah. Yeah. Anywhere. And then the next question comes from Kaz Loji. What up, Kaz? 
She says, you slowly created this whole platform, which gained a huge community with a loyal fan base. Did you ever once think this would be your future back when you started in 2008? What are your thoughts on you guys being the bridge to having people join together in strong friendships and relationships? Love you guys, Kat Logi. <gasps> Thanks, Kat. That's a great question. Going back to 2008, where were you in your mind when you made Barney the dub? <laughs> when we were passing around the rock band mic. I don't know, man. <laughs> Do that, dub. It's just been uh, go with the punches, you know? There hasn't been too much uh, future thought put into it. It's like, this is fun. Let's keep going. This is fun. Let's keep going. This is fun. Let's you were kind going. of, what, when you made Barney Dub, you're like, I, this is fun for me and my friends. Let's just put this up there as kind of a fun thing, right? Right. Just a fun thing. Right. I was planning to do more of the art stuff as a, like a career, like be in a studio, video game studio or something like that. But this was so fun and kept going. I was like, well, I might as well do this because how many people get the chance to do this? You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was like, I can always work at an art studio, but I was like, I don't know if this could be a thing. And here we are. Yep. There was three moments for me that kind of said that where this could go was when you first got featured on Attack of the Show, I was like, whoa, this is like, this could go somewhere, period, anywhere. And then the second was when we did the YouTube show of, like, the show, and the hardcore fans gathered and supported that. I was like, okay, so there is a gathering that wants to see us. And then our first Twitch live stream, I was like, oh, shit, this is powerful. This is powerful. Yeah, powerful. I mean, it's powerful. But again, like when I was so young when it started, and I had yeah. um, what's his name? That guy, Cats. Like I had those oh, like yeah. manager kind of people talking oh, to me, yeah. and they're like gassing me up. Like I used to represent Dave Chappelle. You're next, buddy. So I was like 18, going, "What the fuck?" <laughs> it's like, why? They just want to say anything so they get a percent whatever you're doing. Mm-hmm. But they're just like. Oh, yeah, I represented Dane Cook and Dave Chappelle, Nick Swartzen, Louis C.K. You're next, buddy. Grab a helmet. Grab a helmet. (laughs) Strap yourself in. Grab a helmet. Get ready for the ride. It's a rough ride. (laughs) And I was like, what? So that was happening, so that was a little weird. But I don't know. I think it's just one one thing at a time has always been my approach. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, seeing the community grow, it's just is like insane. That's what's been the coolest part for me. That's so That's cool. That's the part I love. Like, when we go to cons and stuff, we'll meet people who are like, oh, yeah, I met my wife. I'm like, whoa. Through mm-hmm. the Djibouti stuff? Like, yep. Yeah. That stuff We've is always got a trip. three children, pop name to pop's name in the chest. <laughs> I'm like, what? Like, no. What? Shit. My favorite moment of TwitchCon was when Ty Bahama pulled me aside. He's like, hey, pops, met my girlfriend on the show. I slid in the DMs. We're hooking people up out here. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> So yeah, that's fucking cool, and it's cool to see the little groups kind of branch off, and then they're hanging out, doing their own thing, and that's mm-hmm. fucking cool, man. That's really rad. Yeah. That's a really cool way to meet like-minded people, yeah. you know? That's why we're advertising our Discord. Get on that Discord, y'all. Yep, yep. People are out there fucking. <laughs> Get in on that shit. Join yeah. the Discord. Get wet. We Get out here while fucking. it's free. Get wet. Get lit. Yeah. But it's really cool being like a source of positivity on the internet because Lord knows there's a lot of negativity out there. It's nice to have a place to escape. Yeah. Fucking just hang out. It's a you place know? where I can just hang out and girt, you know? Just <laughs> chill. A place where I can girt. No one's going to judge me <laughs> yep. for the size of my girt. Mm-hmm. Next Thanks, Kaz. Qu- Thanks, Kaz. Next question comes from Katsu Kayla. Uh, when it comes to your guys' friendship, um, which one is the friend that is like the glue to hold everyone together? Right. Well, we're more like family. You yeah. know? Yeah, we've known each other for so long. We so, basically are. It's not even like a friendship. It's like it's all brothers here. You know? I've known mm-hmm. Damon since he was a little boy. <laughs> since I was a simple <laughs> child. It's you know weird I mean? to even hear you say that. <laughs> since he was it's a true. little boy. Damon was a little boy trying to come over and hang out at our house. <laughs> Can and I Justin, play PlayStation? And Justin's mom always told me no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Justin needs to do nope. his homework. No. Nope. If I ever told this before, is because Justin used to have this fucking awesome trampoline, and mm-hmm. he's the only kid I knew that had one. So all of our friends were always like trying to come over to Justin's house, and he was so stingy with it. Yeah, they not, not let me. anybody not come me. over. Okay, not hey, you, man. but the family. Hey man, four trimesters, four point four point oh GPA average. <laughs> I'd keep that up, man. Yeah. No friends gonna hold my son back from having another my trimester. Boy. A trimester. <laughs> trimester. <laughs> You're your third a trimester. Trimester of middle school straight A's. <laughs> And I was like, damn, wish. But <laughs> eventually we came over, got some jumping in. 
Let me be bouncing. Hey, damn it. <laughs> on the fence. Let's go. Yeah, see just your, looking just over, see the over the fence. Can I please come over, Justin? Mom? I wish you could. But I can't. Every That'd time. Be so fun. Every time I you jump, jump on yeah, every time I, I jump over the fence. Sorry, Damon. Boing. Can't come in. Boing. <laughs> Gotta do my homework. Boing. <laughs> Thank you, Katsu. Uh, uh, great Thank question, you. Katsu. Thanks for, thanks for the question. Who's next? Who's oh, next? my boy right there. Loch Ness Munchies. Yeah. Um, we all know that the three of you are incredibly talented, <laughs> but what talents do each of you possess that people might not know about? Wow. Just Loch Ness Munchies making me blush over here. Wow. <laughs> Um, uh, I mm. well, a lot of people feel like oh, the ukulele thing. I feel like I share a lot. Um, you know, music. we've you guys have seen everything. I'm pretty good at drawing. I Damon's wouldn't say he's drawing. Really good at drawing. Yeah, I'm not as good as Justin, but yeah, I do some drawing. He's fucking great. You can um, see when we do like the Pictionary stuff. You might not know about. I don't uh, know. What dude. else? What else? Might hmm. not know about. You might not know. Out. I can take do a handstand. Take, take one thing. <laughs> take one thing. I'm one hell of a shot. When we go and we do the shooting <laughs> ah, with the yeah. shotguns. I'm decent with the shotgun. Yo, that shit is fun. Okay. Yeah. Um, I got a shot on the court. Oh, no, man. <laughs> That's about it. Cross you up. Damon's got some solid b-ball skills. Uh, hmm. I can eat 20 tacos in one sitting. I've seen him do that. I, I can, can eat, do it. I can eat really fast. Yeah. Justin can eat We're insanely fast. We're power eaters fast. over here. We can eat fast. Like... Man, I eat so slow compared to these guys. Like, I'm like, do you guys even taste it? Because I'll just Damon look away. Chews. Damon chews. I actually chew my food. These guys don't chew their <laughs> shit. Damon's what? savoring his food. It's like, mm, oh, it's great. I'm like, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Justin, did you like to, or did you want to taste it? He's like, I was too hungry. I just want to get that feeling gone. I'm hungry. Need to get it away. I hate that feeling of being hungry. Just yeah. boom, get it down so that feeling can go away. And you're like, whoop. <laughs> feel good now. The blood's coming back in my brain. Um, Man, anything, I can eat fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a power eater. I can eat fast. I unhinge my jaw and I devour. <laughs> um, Other than that, I got nothing. I got nothing. Yeah, buddy. You you've, know. See, you've seen all the talent we got. We share it all. Mm -hmm. We share it all. Thanks, Loch Ness. Appreciate it, Loch Ness. Taylor's back with another question. Um, is there any reason you can give on why Louis is on the show more often? Um other than he doesn't want to be. It's not that he doesn't want to be. There's a bunch of like personal stuff. Nothing exciting. I don't have anything juicy to tell you, Taylor. I want you to be. Oh, there was a fist fight in the studio. <laughs> we all Louis grabbed a beer bottle and slammed it on my head. I said, <laughs> You're never coming back on this show ever again. <laughs> no, it was just uh, a bunch of stuff. But I want to have him on more. He'll be on more. You'll see him around. Mm -hmm. I like having him on the big events too. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. Birthdays would be cool. See him on more little party streams. I like to make it a big deal when Lou's on the show. Love Lure. You can go check him out. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Louis Fat. He got himself a vibe, and he's been in the VR chat. He's getting in the virtual world. Mm -hmm. Guys got to get in on watching him in the virtual world. Yeah, some good shit. Who's next? Straight hype. <clears throat> what up, said, dude? Where's the strangest place you've ever pissed or taken a shit? Uh, what's the weirdest thing you've seen in someone else's home? That's a complicated second question. Two great questions. Um... Strangest place I've ever pissed or taken a shit. Pissed or taken a shit. Mm. Oh, strangest place. I don't really. I was gonna say for Justin, <laughs> it would be when you were in Cambodia and you had to shit in the water. Oh yeah, that's for sure yours. I don't know. You, what's could you beat weir that? What's weirder? What having to do that in the wild waters of Cambodia, where they're probably sharks and parasites, or <laughs> Toby Turner's house? Ooh. Oh, that is a good one. I don't know. It's weirder. They're I both think pretty wild <laughs> and life threatening. <laughs> wild Filled and life sites. threatening. Different types of parasites. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's my two. That's good. I'll take that. That's a really good one. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna parasite mine onto your your shit story. Yeah. Oh man, I, I shit in the that? in the wilderness, like on a riverbed, because I was like camping and I didn't want to use the outhouse. I was like, fuck, I'll just do it nature created and just go mm -hmm. oh man i haven't shit anywhere strange i took a <laughs> shit at toby turner's house too so i'm just gonna piggyback <laughs> off of yours no, and say good. the same thing yeah no, you were there too. i was there you were there but it is my mission to take a shit in every single state in america so add that to my bucket list too. there you go there's the bucket list there we go it all it all comes back 
Thank you um, for the question. Yep. Oh, wait, that was a two-parter. What's the weirdest thing you've ever seen in someone else's home? I walked in on people doing cocaine, and I was like, Oh, nice. I don't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is not my kind of party. Oh, oh weirdest man. thing. Oh, weirdest thing. Hmm. Ooh. Oh man, that's strange. A... Weird and strange is a very interesting concept, though. It's like because well, I don't go in like someone's like bathroom and look right. through their medicine cabinet right. and go, "Whoa, whoa, chill, <laughs> <laughs> whoa." <laughs> if you're snooping oh, around someone's house to find things, you might not want to find those things. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I think I've seen a dildo in a bathroom one time. I've but, seen some weird shit in but, Louis's house. Louis always oh, has I, weird. Louis stuff. always yeah. has some weird shit. Yeah. Louis had one of those. Uh, never mind. <laughs> we don't want to put him on blast. I don't want to do that to we him. We don't want to put him on blast. I've seen some weird stuff in Louis's room growing up. <laughs> Questionable, weird things. Just let's strange. leave it at that. Just strange. <laughs> um. Thanks, straight hype. Taylor, much, back with man. some more. If you could choose anything to drink right now, what would it be? Water. My thing is this damn coffee. It gets so co I like the hot coffee, but it gets so cold so quick. And yeah. I put it in the microwave for 30 seconds, it blows up. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Five seconds. Boom. I think we're the start of an infomercial right now. I love my yeah. coffee, but I hate it when it gets cold. Well, I hate when it explodes. <laughs> well, <laughs> this cup that keeps it hot. That's why I drink Folgers. Fresh in your cup. Nothing gets frozen. Coffee. Love me some coffee. Yeah, we're coffee folk over um, here. Gotta have coffee. If I could drink anything, I'd probably just go for an IPA right now. Ooh. It's a little early, but fuck it. Why not? Whoa, oh, it's four o'clock. Rock it. Whoa, dude. Chill. <laughs> Whoa, chill. Nah, I'll take a coffee. Uh, thanks, Taylor. Appreciate uh, it, Taylor. Okay, he's got another one. What is your preferred place to shop? Amazon. And if you use Amazon Prime, you get free two-day <laughs> shipping. And you can use that Amazon Prime to link to your Twitch Prime account and subscribe to our channel. I love it, man. Pops was quick on that shit. I saw it ahead of time. Goddamn. I'm supposed to see some shit in the chat. Look at, look at Brax. Justin like the goddamn three bears. This room's too hot. My car be too cold. <laughs> This one's just Damn it. right. He Shut got it you, Justin. He got, got you. <laughs> Get on. Got him. Got your ass. You three little bad looking motherfucker. <laughs> Just down like a three little bad. <laughs> Go to the house looking motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> place to shop. Um, Amazon for sure. <laughs> Not sponsored, but yeah, Amazon. Represent that cop slash Djibouti store. They have such great hats. <laughs> they really do. No, uh, I don't know. Um... Uh, the joggers. Let me think. Let me think. See, I feel I feel stupid if I throw out names of stores. I'm like, no, oh, that's what the question is asking. Just, that's the that's thing. The question it just feels um, weird. They're asking us. Weird. We might as well just tell them. Um, we get our joggers and shit. I had from a, cotton on. Yeah, I had spot. a bunch of people go, "Yo, Justin, where you get them pants, dog? I heard you talking about them joggers. Where mm -hmm. you getting them? Cotton on has very comfortable, and they have like every fucking color. There's like five different shades of brown. Mm -hmm. yep. you can get like every different kind of color you want. Um, I don't know if it's East Coast. They got though. the waistband on the. See, we need it. I need. We need to yep. reach out to them and we be like, really "Yo, do. give Ooh. me a promo code. We will help you sell your shit. I will sell the <laughs> fucking joggers. We'll get your jog on. Because if you haven't made the switch to joggers yet and you're still rocking jeans, what are you doing? <laughs> I would love to see these with like a little Djibouti tag on the pocket or oh, something. That would be pretty. That'd sick. be cool. <laughs> Um, but yeah, cotton on. They got good pants, shirts. I don't know. I always check in on stuff like urban outfitters sometimes they're really expensive but yeah. sometimes they have like a really cool shirt um they do have really dope shit if you want to break the bank uh i just bought like four really cool shirts from uh designed by human i know we have a few things on there but uh they just got a licensed cuphead cool they got oh, a nice. bunch of like cuphead t-shirts popping up um Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I'll just fucking Sometimes. be walking through Target and I'll see some fucking dope shit that's like six bucks. But fuck yeah, South Park yeah. shirt. It looks cool. Sometimes if you go into a place like Box Lunch, uh, I don't know if that's only out here. Box Lunch is pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, that's a really dope store. They got really dope video game shirts and stuff. It's it's hard to find like tasteful video games. Sometimes you find a cool shirt at Hot Topic too. Yeah, yeah, true. You gotta look online though. Mm -hmm. You don't want to go in the store because when you go in there, it's like, <gasps> wake me up, wake me up inside. <laughs> <Shame> <laughs> me. 
Cringe me up. Cringe me up inside. And then some fucking weirdos like, you leave me looking for anything in particular. Wake me up. Wake me up. It's like, no, please. Just to let you know if you buy one, if you buy one, it's 50% off the entire store. Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks. Got it. It's tricky going into stores. Sometimes I'm just like, oh, fuck. I can't handle the music they play at some of these places. It's so cringy. But Mm -hmm. online's the way to go, boy. Yep. Most Where, of my wherever, shit online. wherever you can find shirts, that's the tricky thing. Finding shirts. That's why, I mean, we had a green screen. My dog is sheds black hair a lot. So yeah. I'm always wearing the black shirt. But hey, it looks mm-hmm. good in front of a green screen. If you, sure like, that. If you like urban there's, shit. There's a lot um, of people who have adapted the black shirt only look. That one dude from Penny Arcade. Um, You're taking <laughs> names? Um, You're writing it down. That's about it. Oh, <laughs> the guy from Benny Arcade. <laughs> I was like, I like he's always wearing a black shirt. Louis C.K. Well, well, know, we don't talk about well, that. We can't anymore. talk about him. <laughs> hmm. It's a good look. Can't go wrong with black shirt. You can't. You really can't. Just get black shirt. Doesn't show Simon dead. Cowell. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Darth Vader. Simon Cowell. Yeah. The, the I noticed two recognizable uh, names. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> there you go. Yep, yep. If you like urban <laughs> shit, uh, Chic is another really good one. I don't know if that's only on the West Coast too. Yeah, I don't know. It's only I don't know what's local here. or not. I'm just saying where I go We're in our own bubble. So I, yeah. think, I think Cotton On is an Australian website okay. store that's winking the Aussie their way boys. Out here. Those Aussie boys sure do love their joggers, mate. Mm-hmm. Put a little Vegemite in your pocket. <laughs> 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 Great question though, Taylor. Appreciate it, man. Who's next? Zane. He says, will there ever be a female on the show? I don't know. Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll f- if we can find them. Who Shit. knows? Sounds like you guys are getting them in the chat. Who Share knows? Them with us. Who knows? Should we should we have like a like an audition? Be on the Djibouti show. Mm-hmm. We should just hire like a super hot model and just she be on she's just on the show and you don't say anything. Mm, we tap into the, the cam girl audience. Mm-hmm. You can't say cam girl now. You can't say that? You that's a that's a derogatory that's term. Banned. So what do you that's call what do you triggering. call triggering a female streamer? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> okay. I don't know. Um Yeah, you know. That yeah. We're gonna step into the next uh, bracket. You they can move know. the show up to yeah. uh, new heights. Yeah. Um, I mean, shit. Might as well. I Why thought not? I had that demographic covered, but apparently not saying. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I thought Holy we were good. Shit. I thought we didn't need it. I thought there was <laughs> enough sexual tension and sexual. I um, know. We don't make you girt enough? What's yeah. going on here? You guys aren't making me girt enough. You guys are hot and all, but <laughs> can we on. get some girls on this stream? <laughs> get some girl. Get a girl on here. <laughs> Hashtag diversity. And then the last question comes from my boy Outer Space. He says, "What are uh, what are some of your favorite games of all time?" Uh, I got two to come to mind: uh, Final Fantasy VII and Metal Gear Solid One. I don't know. I played the fuck out of both those games. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid mm-hmm. One's pretty fucking up there, dude. Super Mario sixty four, of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I think the very first, or no, I'm sorry, the second Batman Arkham game is like one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, favorite of all time. Super Smash Brothers Melee. Left uh Last of Us. Last of Us is really good. That's pro Last of Us is probably my favorite single player. I don't know actually. Yeah, it might be. Last of Us is up there. Last of Us, Metal Gear Solid, um and then um Chrono Trigger and then Huh. Uh honorable mentions for Counter Strike 1.6. Oh, played of course. that. Like, Jesus out of that. Of course. I used to go to the Cyber Cafe to yeah. play that shit. Yeah, those games are all up there. TF2. Those mm-hmm. games have a special oh, yeah. place in my TF2, heart. TF2, Overwatch. In my heart. The newest one, of course, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Dragon Ball Fighters, Smash Bros, yeah. Bloodborne. Um, Bloodborne is... Bloodborne, can't forget that. Um... Dude, yeah, there's a lot, man. The list goes on and on. I could sit here and talk about this all day, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Those are the ones that come to mind. I'm sure I'm forgetting a bunch. Pappy knows what I'm talking about. Yes. Fuck, dude, there's too many. Yeah. Too many good ones. Yeah. There's too many. I mean, how do you, how do you choose, pick and choose Half-Life 2? I mean, come on. Do I you mean, go by how many number of hours I played? Because do mean, I want to say World of Warcraft? I, I think you know I, what I mean? I think I might have to, you know? Has spent so many hours in World of Warcraft when it was 
prime wow. when it was just fucking wow. but affection mm-hmm. um we actually got some last minute questions that just came in there. snuck in um one from tom pops can you read it oh uh, one you question i we'll, sorry, we'll get sorry. you we'll get you mclancer after these one question i have is i is do you enjoy more serious movies for commentaries or do you prefer schlocky Rocky mm-hmm. B movies. Okay. Uh, love your commentaries. Another Stallone movie was Daylight. Mm-hmm. I don't know that movie. Uh, can't wait for the future commentaries. Would love to get more suggestions. Okay. Hmm. I'm definitely going to check out Daylight. Yeah. Um, love Stallone. What would you say was our best movie? Tiptoes is probably... Tiptoes. Yeah. What is Tiptoes? Is that... That's a serious movie. It's meant to be serious. That's a serious it's movie. It's a weird combo. Another one was... In- Oh wait, no. Schlock is like goofy, campy, right? I yeah. I think Schlock, Schlock is like, is like Miami room. connection. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. I was gonna say, um, or is that just? I think isn't Schlocky more like boing? Can we Whoa! go? Urban Dictionary Schlocky, I guess. Uh, I'm not. Let's familiar look up with the Schlock. Term. Look up the <laughs> Schlock. Know, I like how that's explain it. Isn't Schlocky boing? Whoa! Whoa. Like fucking Harry and the Hendersons felt like like campy. Yeah. Campy is what I would imagine that be. I think Schlock. like Demolition Man is like one of our best too, and that's like another supposed to be serious movie. Cheap or inferior goods or material trash. Like I s- cheap, cheap. <clears throat> Miami okay. Connections kind of reminds me of that. I like cheap. That's tough. I like. Yeah, and I consider the room to be a serious movie. Yeah, in I its truest form. I like when it's serious, but it's just so stupid you can't believe this whole thing's serious. So yeah. bad it's good. I is think, kind like of the chud. Yeah, yeah, I think it's I agree serious, with that. but it's like, oh my god, this is so bad. I think like with demolition too, like they were trying to be serious with like this is the future. Like, come on, short circuit. <laughs> yeah. That's another one. Yeah, that's drowned off just said that. in the chat. That's one that I hear a lot. Mm-hmm. Short short circuit. That's a oh, serious okay. movie too, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That would that one would probably be good. We should probably do that one next. Yeah. Yeah. Probably yeah. that one. I don't know. So it's a weird combo of serious but just bad. Like, can't believe it's serious. I think I gotta go with the serious. The fact that in tiptoes she was talking about a circle jerk and being turned on by it, I, I mean it's just <laughs> fucking so I forgot about powerfully yeah. bad. That was so weird. Yeah. I want to watch that scene again just to see what the fuck they were talking about. And amazing actors doing an awful, awful movie. I could not believe that. Um, well, yeah. Miles Ma- Milligan, he said last minute question. Miles. Watching you and Classy Packs do an RP is amazing, and the characters and voices you guys come up with are incredible. Ever considered getting an agent for voiceover work? Do you think you could actually expand into more uh, than just doing dubs? That was another thing I was going to try this year is a goal. Um... We have some uh, representation. They just want me to send in a voice demo. So I'm going to be working on that. I need to hit up uh, my boy Rice Pirate. See if he'll help me. Because uh, <clears throat> I've done demos before. but It's been a while. Yeah, I don't know. I need to figure out like what voices to do or whatever. I don't know. I was talking to someone about sending it in. And I know someone who's like, yeah, give me the demo. And I know people. So I was like, okay. You know, we'll see. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I want to be driving around L.A. doing all that stuff, but I don't know. Maybe I'll like it. I've never really got into it. Like, like I said, the only time I did it, I was like 18, and I was way too nervous. The guy was like, let me hear your slate. I was like, huh? Your slate. <laughs> huh? Your slate, Your sir. name, your name, your name, your slate, your name, your age, where you're from, blah, blah, blah. Oh, but my uh, name's Justin. <laughs> oh, fuck. But how cool would that be? Voiceover anime? How cool would that be? I like, was talking to Mick about that. He's like, he was telling us, he's like, well, mm-hmm. how much do you think you make? And I was like, I already know what he's thinking. Because it's like, you think, oh, voiceover, you're in a studio, you're probably making bank. But yeah. it's like, there's so much anime out there, though. It's like, it's not what you think. You're not yeah. making like $100 an hour. It's like a regular job. It's a job. There's so much anime. And there's so many people who can... Do voices. Yeah, but if you luck out and end up voicing a popular character, that's, you're that's, fucking you're fucking set. I think that's the thing. You are set. I think that's the thing right there. You get your foot in, who knows mm-hmm. what happens. You get now you're doing Pixar or some shit. Who knows? Yep. But think about if someone at Rockstar happened to see GTA RP, was like, wow, these guys are pretty good. Oh. Grand Theft Auto 6 comes around. We have a beeline storyline character that's just in Jerry the street. Curl. Can you imagine? Walking <laughs> oh, down. Oh, that would be so sick. Jerry Curl in. Mm-hmm. The fucking next game is like a mission. Oh, how? Hey, come on, hey, young blood. <laughs> that would be so. I nice, need you to dude. help. And like, maybe the mission is like ride a bike with him. Mm-hmm. 
and it's like you dude that would be if i was there that's what i would do man i would reach out to these rpers and get their characters like in the mm -hmm. story because like we're actually as streamers and rpers we're fleshing out these stories it's like you already have a quest line yeah i mean fuck man it'll be fucking cool i know GTA that rockstar's 6. eyes are definitely on rp so it's possible it is so possible fucking cool if you ran into captain pete and jerry curl is in in fucking gta 6 even just a ped, a ped would be fucking cool. It's just a guy mm -hmm. walking down and be like, my mother's my sister. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that'd be so fucking cool, dude. I smoke because it gives me knowledge. Mm -hmm. you know, all that good shit. Classics. Classic GTA. That uh, riding a bike tutorial would be by him. <laughs> you must follow me. Let's go. Um, Yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. All right. The official last question Thanks, comes Miles. from Taylor. Would you rather have Steaming hot gert all over your face or not? I think we all know the answer to that one. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, so much on a Patreon. People supporting your boys. Mm -hmm. Sending in the hard-hitting stuff. We'll do more of these. Yep. We'll do a lot more of the Q&As. I like that. They're a lot of fun. As a matter of fact, that was the purpose of the whole podcast. In the beginning was extra for the patrons. Yes. No extra. So I wonder if there's another way we could uh, incorporate them giving us things for podcasts. Oh, they could give us would you rather questions again. That's good. We mm -hmm. could bring that back. That's always good. I think we could ask for that. Hell he yes. Did. He did. Yeah. So we need to bring it back for Let's him. Let's fucking do that next one. Let's do that. Yeah, I'm down. Maybe you patrons, you know, start thinking. Start we thinking. also uh, want to get some guests on the podcast, too. Mm -hmm. We got a couple ideas up in here. That was another thing with, you know, moving this whole operation to a new space. Physically having guests. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to get classy packs in this room. If we can fit them in. Dude, so fucking Get tall. in this room, put my hands on them. I want to grab them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> do, do VR chat with two dudes in the same room. Wow. <laughs> two headsets. Yeah. It's possible. You're going to break Twitch. You can do it. That would be fucking awesome. You could do it. We'd be mm -hmm. punching each other a lot. Yeah. Um. Hell yes. More guests on the pod. Let's do it. Physical form. And through the Discord form. Make sure you guys get on the Discord. Yes, sir. We got some people to thank here. We should do this. Yes. Oh, that's right. Let's yes. see. Some very generous people. Yes, we do. Bowl of Gert came in with a prime six months. Thank you, Captain Bowl. Captain Redbeard with a three month prime. I freaked your mom with a seven. Vernice with the two months. Oh, yeah, that was the 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. The Billy Mays dubs. Shit for breakfast with a prime for two months. Thank you. Dr. Huxtable threw some bitties at us. Thank Ow! <laughs> Wait, my eye. Thank you. Chief Chavez with the Prime 17 months. B -b 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 boner. Uh, let's see here. Afro Man Gaming with a brand new Prime. Thank you for using your Prime on us, dude. Thank you, man. Rising Hero. Six months. Congrats Six on the badge upgrade. Months. Followed up by Super Honky. Six months. Six months. Thank I you love guys. mayonnaise. Reptile Lover dropped a 333. Thanks, buddy. Uh, for 3D figurines, if you have someone sculpt them, you can make molds and cast them yourself. Ooh. Smooth On is the best manufacturing for shit like that. It's how we make molds and cast here. Mm. I'll look into that. Smooth uh, On. That sounds pretty cool. I kind of want some more mass production. I don't really want to be casting stuff in the kitchen. I want to find a company that I yeah. can give like a 3D model to and have them yeah. print at... Uh, not really an inventory, but you know, we'll take order like pre orders. Yeah. We'll probably have to do it all ourselves. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many people would be interested in that. I don't know how expensive it would be, but I feel like it would be fucking awesome. Especially if we could give that to some of our top guys. That'd be fucking really cool. Yep. Hermit soup dropping a hot brand new primer. Priming it. Thanks for that hot soup. Uh, Craxis coming through with the prime three months, three whole months. You're on blood. Thanks, Craxis. Get Thanks, Craxis. Got the new badge, Craxis. Malcolm coming with the prime 16 months. Thanks, Matt. Dude, Thanks, six Malcolm. months in a row. My Damn. Oh, my Malcolm. Damn. McLancer, drop it to 333. After watching your DBZ streams, you guys did, and how much talk you did about it, got me hooked. Starting to watch Dragon Ball. Now, then move on to DBZ. Hey. Love what you guys have accomplished. Keep up the great work. Also, can I get a boner? Yeah, but <laughs> Could he get a boner? You guys know I got a soft spot. You guys can't ask for that, and I can't not give you one. Can't, how am I supposed to not just give you a big... Boner. 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 
There you go. That's how you end a podcast. That was I can't, intense. I can't deny you of your boner. Um, Spooty dropped some bits. Thanks, Spooty. Spooty. Thank you so Ouch. much, man. You always throw them right in my eye. Well, you guys always throw right in right, right for the eyeball, don't you? And is that is it? Zoe. Zoe Nation. She said, Woo! Missed you guys. Woo! I missed you guys. Zoe. Miss you too, girl. Zoe. I was up? just thinking about you, Zoe. 25 months, Zoe. 25 months. How are you doing, girl? It's been a while. We all hung out. Great PAX. Great PAX Prime. Are it's we gonna try time. to go to PAX East this year? Well, We're that. trying. Let's do that. Let's look into that right now. We got some stuff we gotta work on, folks. Make some stuff for the patrons. Make some stuff for you. Also, um, uh, we're giving away the, some of the movies, signing them on the Patreon, on people supporting the movies. Um, also, we've got a lot of requests. People want to buy the movie tracks individually, so we're figuring out the best way to sell the commentaries and give them away, you know, the one one track one at a time. Some people are just interested in one or two or yeah. three at a time, you know, they don't want to be signed up for nothing. So we're going to try to do that. Uh, you know, make it uh, convenient for you, whatever it is you want. You can have it. Whatever you want. Whatever you need. With that said, we uh let's how long have we been doing this? It's been a minute. Is this too long of a pod? I don't know. There's no tell. such thing as too long of a pod. Come on. Wow. Man. An hour fifteen. That's a good pod. It's pretty good. That's what I'm saying. You sit down, you talk about Gert, next thing you know, it's seven o'clock. Yep. You're like, fuck, man. You just talk some schlock. Not enough fucking time. Hope talk you guys schlock. had a good time. We were gonna flies by. We were gonna talk about Logan Paul. Oh yeah, and l- we know that would have taken another at least two hours. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got tons of material. I want to know what they have to say about Logan Paul. I need to know. First, he was making fun of dead people. Then he's making fun of dead animals. Right? <laughs> Zapping dead animals. Can you just yeah. leave dead things alone? All I know is YouTube's cracking down. Twitch's cracking down. Yeah. All these crackdowns terms, going down. Terms of services. I need to get, mm-hmm. I need to look at these terms of service. I don't know. What, is there anything we do that's, I think we're good still. No, we're, we we're, we're good. It's mostly calling out specific people. You're not allowed to do that anyways, though. They're just being more now, harsh. Now they're definitely locking that down. Oh, now you're just dead. Like, you can't be talking get shit. Get the ban hammer. Yeah. Yo, Twitch is cracking down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, you can't be mean on Twitch. Got to keep it positive. You were never supposed to be allowed to be mean, but, you know. People... Yeah, that was against the rules to begin with, but now they want it to be explicitly clear that you cannot. You will not, disappear if you're You mean. cannot call what, a specific person a cam girl. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Don't want to offend anybody. Well, Got to be careful. There goes my dreams and aspirations of becoming a cam man. <laughs> <laughs> that's Actually, that's okay. You can call yourself a cam man. Oh, thank cam God. Man. I'm a cam boy. <laughs> okay. cam that boy? you can't say. Oh, you can't say boy. Oh. Yeah. Cam man. Yeah. Call me the cam man, baby. <laughs> Tune in. Watch these pecs bouncing. Bouncing around, bouncing around, bouncing, bouncing around, bouncing around, bouncing, bouncing around, bouncing around, boner, bouncing around, bouncing around, boner, camman, 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 boner, camman, camman, boner, oh! Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, we need to stop. That. We, need to, we need to stop. We need to stop. It's getting weird. We're gonna get banned. This is what happens yeah, we when gotta, you pod we gotta too long. We got to stop streaming. We're going to get banned. Cut that shit off. Okay, what are we doing? Okay, folks. Well, uh, <laughs> we'll see you next time, huh? Thank you guys for listening into the podcast. That's Everybody, you podcast. we love you. Thank you for sending in the questions. Um, <clears throat> we will see you guys next time, huh? Yeah. Yep, yep. Until then. Be good. Have a good weekend. Over and out. Peace, motherfucker. Here comes the curtain. Later, y'all. We'll catch you all next time. I go. Go now. Show's over. Go. Go. All right, now everybody leave. Everybody scoop. Pick up your stuff. Go get. Whatever you leave on the ground, I'm taking home. It's mine. It's time to go. Get get away from here. All right, I'm get. Bye-bye.